Scotland. A majestic and beautiful country with very little relevance to current world affairs and, let's face it, not much to see, apart from ducks. Today, we will be searching and looking at this greatest creature, known as the duck, or Quackers Quackerson, but we will be using the Latin name, Quackerson Enchiladas, which means duck, or big duck. As we can see here, here is the first tribe of ducks, combined with five white ducks and three black ducks. This tribe is clearly racist, and we can probably assume that the three black ducks feel as if they are being oppressed by some sort of majority, aka the large white ducks. However, as the day goes on, maybe we will see a change, a paradigm shift if you will, in the society of these ducks, but probably not. As we can see, the four white ducks lead away, while a final white duck accompanies the black ducks for some reason, but I'm not really sure why. I'm not going to say it's anything racist, but, you know, it probably is. The whole tribe of duck accompany themselves down to the tables and chairs, where they are probably going to make negotiations. Or maybe just split into two. As we can see, the white ducks have stayed behind in the southern part of the jungle slash black garden, and the black slash white duck are just chilling up by the pond, where it is nice and warm. The pond. Natural habitat of the duck, probably. The next day, we can see that the tribes have still separated from their great division of 2013, and they continue to adventure, with the white ducks being at the pond now, and the other ducks being up by the house, where they will meet in an unlikely plain next to the forest. Here we see the white ducks traveling through past the pond, not really doing anything but walking, walking, and walking, and walking, when suddenly they keep walking, but this time next to a forest, where they are walking close to their enemies, the other ducks. I wouldn't really call them enemies because I don't think a duck can have the concept of good and evil. But alas, the two ducks keep their distance and we'll see what happens. When suddenly, the natural predator of the duck, the football. The football sees his opportunity to strike at the tribe of the ducks and goes for his first swipe. Missing terribly, the ducks are alerted to the football's presence. We'll see what happens. The football getting ready for a second attack at the ducks. The ducks jaw dodge valiantly, splitting into their two tribes, because there's always time to be racist. The ducks, as a single tribe but kind of split apart, head to the north part of the garden, where they can be safe from the football and its terrible spherical rat. I'm not sure if spherical rat the string of sentences that should work there, but I'm not taking this again, so you guys can suck it. As we can see, the two tribes have begun negotiations in the northern part of the jungle to discuss whether or not they should face the football head-on and try and peck it to death. However, day by day, the ducks must protect themselves for the perils of Scotland. And next week, as this is only part one of our 27 part series, we will discover why we made our cameraman climb in a tree with a tripod just to get a shot of a branch. Tune in next time for Ducks.